is Amy Creighton. I'm a reflexologist here at the Barefoot Dragonfly in Stoneham, Massachusetts. And today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, back pain. Uh, a lot of us have experienced back pain at some point in our lives and it's very uncomfortable. Can keep you from making it to work, uh, doing your household chores, keeping up with kids, doing uh, things that you would uh, rather be doing than being laid up on the couch or in bed, um, hunched over in pain. So um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about ear reflexology. Um, I love the Bill Floco method of using ear reflexology in a reflexology treatment to help with uh, complaints related to the spine, uh, muscles, and the entire skeletal system of the body. So I like to use ear reflexology with a number of my clients. Most people find it relaxing. Some people are uncomfortable having uh, someone be touching their ears. So keep that in mind. Um, if you're working on your own ears, then uh, you're in charge of your comfort level and uh, might be very relaxing for you to work on your own ears. So if you follow me, it's a very large ear here. I'm apologizing in advance, but it helps for a visual. The space here at the uh, bottom of the of the notch here, the lower valley as we call it in uh, ear reflexology. We're following this uh, spine as it's reflected on the ears all the way up. So this is going to be the space that's, that's the neck area and then you're following the spine going the opposite direction that you would think. So neck and upper back and eventually finding lower back uh, to the tailbone deep inside this little groove in here. So on my own ear, um, if I'm working on myself, I'm going to be working on finding my ear lobes with my fingers and I find the neck reflex here and then I'm using my index finger to very gently stroke up the ear and I'm waiting for the cartilage to soften a little bit, sort of melt like butter in my fingers as I work. So I can either work in an upwards motion, which may be comfortable to me. Otherwise, if I'm working on both of my ears, I might actually start at the top part up here in the, va um, in the upper valley and that slow back and I'm coming down with my fingers. Again, nice gentle strokes, drawing the ears down towards the upper back reflex areas, the space between the shoulder blades and into the neck space. And I like to sit and sort of hold on to the neck. A lot of us carry a lot of tension in our in our necks, um, whether we're aware of it or not. So I like to kind of hang out with that point a little bit. Um, another way to work the ears would be to simply pull towards the back of the head. So if you're working with the ear, you're gently tugging and I'm using the side of my index finger like this and I'm gently pulling the ear back a little and it's a nice stretch for the ears too. Um, feels really good, sort of opens up this tension here. I'll just show you on the other side as I'm drawing the ear backwards this way. And don't forget to get up into that space. So in that point I'm pulling towards the forehead or the front of the room in front of me here. And there we go. I've worked the spine reflexes in the ears. So give that a try next time your back's bothering you and see if that doesn't give you a little bit of relief. Try working it for, you know, um, 45 to 60 seconds, you know, maybe a minute, minute and a half, and see how you do and come back to it in 15 or 20 minutes and you can try it again. Uh, don't be surprised if your ears get very warm, if they look a little pink or a little bit red. That's just you're bringing a lot of circulation up into the ears. So they're going to change colors or uh, temperatures, okay? Best of luck to you, bye now.